Here's up guys, got a request, I'm going to be going over automation, basic automation in Bitwig. So I have a loop here, all right, it's all funky and good. I'm going to add a filter because it's, you know, readily apparent. I'll bring the uh, pre and post to zero, zero, cool. And we have uh, just a simple cutoff here. Right. So say I want to automate that. Well, what I can do is I can click on this little automation lane here and uh, we'll notice, right, filter cutoff, whatever you select, it is sensitive to that, which works so well. I'm going to add this little plus sign, right? So this basically saves the filter cutoff option so I can go to other things. And uh, it's already, well, it's always here. So what I'll do is I'll just create automation Da, 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 da. right there you go right just as, as an example nothing too special I can resize this pretty dandy um, and yeah if and uh, when I kind of elongate this loop the automation doesn't carry over now if I want the automation to loop with the clip right i can do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to double click here um oh before i do that there's multiple ways to edit the automation you can edit it here um, which works out well you can edit bam full screen and you have it all here you have your drop down menu and you can have the actual clip and automation in like overlapping each other so you can really get in there you can edit it down here as well and it, it all works out so when you have it down here or if you have it in your edit view what you can do is click on this little car door and what this does is this says all right cool you click on a clip make sure the clip is selected build our cutoff yeah very cool we'll double click and we'll add some automation I will go free and then I'll make sure this looping is selected and you'll notice that change is happening here I'll just make this a loop here you'll notice I'll click loop again changes that are happening are happening in all the the sections like the automation is looping with the physical clip and that's really useful uh, say if you want to make kind of a, a glitchy type of thing and you don't want to go in and copy paste copy paste copy paste it gets kind of kind of weird uh you can do it that way you can even make this loop a little bit shorter so you get like weird offbeat glitchiness uh, you can even make it longer and uh kind of go to town um what we're what we've been doing is we've been drawing it in or not drawing it in we've been you know double clicking or not double clicking we've been clicking and double clicking to move the warp markers around or not the warp markers move the automation points around and that's 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 fine we can also select the pencil tool or pen tool uh, and draw these in and what this will do is this will like kind of quantize it and then you can have uh, kind of the points of contact moving about which works out well uh, you can select multiple points and delete them and if memory serves me correctly you can hold alt I'm not sure what you press on when or Mac you can hold alt and create curved automation which is pretty neat right and you can get some interesting kind of uh, oceanic an oceanic view if that's what you're into in your tracks and uh yeah that's pretty much a basic rundown of automation it was a request um yeah basically two ways to go about it per clip and then per track right um, and then there's other fun things like relative automation which i haven't really got into but um it looks rather exciting all right this is me in the dark uh hope you learn stuff and uh yeah take care i'll just play it just in case someone wanted to hear it Again, I can drag this out and automation carries over. I don't have to copy paste, copy paste. All right, uh, take care. Hope you learned stuff and uh, have a good one. Bye.